Hi, so I have an exclusive for you today from Joe Malone and it is called Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I've been quite excited for this and I was thrilled when I saw it at my local Joe Malone counter yesterday because it hasn't been released yet. It will actually be released in um, the mid of September and um, my local Joe Malone counter was doing a pre-sale and they were giving out samples and I was thrilled to see it and naturally I doused myself with it at the counter yesterday and this morning I um, gave it a good go. It's at its creator is Christine Nagel who's actually done quite a few other uh, Joe Malone fragrances. I'll just name off a few uh, that she's done for them. Um, English Pear and Freesia, uh, Feeny Blush and Suede, and from the Intense line, she's done Amber and Patchouli, uh, Iris and White Mask, and Oud and Bergamot, which is a nice one. Um, the notes are Amaret Seed, Sea Salt Sage, Red Algae, and Grapefruit. When I got home yesterday with my samples, I looked online to see uh, what others have thought about it. Of course, there's not much out um, yet because it hasn't been released, but on Fragrantica, I think three or four people had commented. Um, I don't think they've sampled it yet, but they commented on uh, why they didn't understand why Joe Malone was releasing a, a beach inspired perfume in the fall. Now this uh, fragrance was inspired by uh, the British beaches. So uh, 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 not all beaches are about you know your coconut oil and sun tanning. Um, I grew up near the coast of Big Sur and I'll include a few images of Big Sur here. Isn't it beautiful? It's a beautiful place to uh, have grown up in. And um, I feel that this cologne here from Jo Malone captures Big Sur for me. It is Big Sur in a bottle. And I do think that fall is the perfect time to release this fragrance. And um, it's, uh, if you've been to Big Sur, it's not, uh, uh, you know, sun tanning, coconut oil kind of beach. It's, in fact, it's cool year round. And when you go to the beach, you are sure to be bundled up in a, uh, at least a sweater and sometimes a jacket. It stays cool pretty much year-round and walking along the Big Sur beaches is beautiful. Um, you see rocks and cliffs and there may be driftwood on the sand. You can hear the ocean waves crashing up but um, one of the things that makes it so special is the fog that rolls in almost daily. Um, just this beautiful and mysterious fog that's heavy with sea salt in it. And it, as it hits your hair and your skin, it just scents the skin with um, a salty uh, ocean mist and that is pretty much what this cologne is about. It's salty and when you smell it, it smells like you have spent a whole day on the coast. It's a lovely one. It does wear very light. Now, like I said, I um, nearly emptied the sample this morning and um, when I met up with a friend of mine three hours after I sprayed it, I asked her if she could smell it on me and she said um, she was standing two feet from me and she said she couldn't smell it 
and um, she had to get really like up here to smell it but once she did she said that it was a very uh, pleasant and natural smelling scent um, very easy to wear very easy to like and definitely unisex it's um, my complaint about it is that it does wear lighter its projection is um, maybe two to three hours but it's a soft projection it's still very close and um, it's longevity maybe five or six hours but you really have to get very close to smell it and it it does warm up very nicely on the skin when um, I was moving around and I was getting heated I was able to get whiffs of it and it's pleasant I think it would wear beautifully in the cooler months so fall is the perfect time for this and um, if you get a chance then uh, yeah do give it a sniff and um, let me know how you like it thanks for listening and I will see you next time bye